What's up everybody, I'm back to talk to another video, now for this one, I am reviewing The Expendables 2. Now, of course I'm continuing my Selfish Just Alone movie marathon reviews. Now, The Expendables 2 is actually my favorite Expendables movie in the franchise, in my opinion. In the Expendables franchise, in my opinion. This is like my favorite one, in my opinion. And I'm going to explain to y'all why in this video. Now, I think John claude Van Damme played the best villain in the franchise. Um, of course, Mel Gibson played the great villain in The Expendables 2, but I'll get to that every when I get to it. But, yeah, um, The Expendables 2 has, like, John Claude Van Damme was heartless as hell in this fucking movie. Um, and he played the perfect villain. And plus, this film is not boring at all. Like, it starts off with the freaking, a lot of action. Like, it starts off at the opening scene of the movie. They're blasting out bullets. Explosions are going off, fighting scenes are going off, fight scene after fight scene, explosions after explosions, in brutal ways at the start of the freaking movie. And then from there, you got some more action scene every 10 minutes of the freaking movie. And I was never bored. And then plus, you got one of the best legendary fight scenes we ever had in a long ass time in The Expendables 2. Like, or like, you know, the people that missed the 80s action movies, they do not disappoint in this freaking movie, in my opinion. This film is a very, like, this film is a very good throwback to action 80s and 90s action films. Like, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Like, this is a good-ass throwback. And these films feel like classic films, of course. And The Expendables 2 is actually my number one favorite in the franchise, and I remember when I saw this in theaters, I had a good ass time when I saw this back in theaters quite a few years back. I enjoy The Expendables too. It's a damn good movie, and um, and I really want to see one more Expendables movie. I sent that in my last Expendables review. I want one more Expendables movie. I want Expendables four and make that shit amazing, you know. And um, I enjoy The Expendables two from start to finish. Um, and, you know, they invited somebody new to join the team, and then, of course, he ends up dying towards the middle of the movie, they, and then they ended, ended up introducing you to John claude Van Damme's character, you know, he played a crazy-ass fucking villain in the film, and, and John claude Van Damme killed that guy, that one guy, so, yeah, so, and then, plus, you got all the original cast members back, of course, from the original Expendables, and this movie is what I wanted the first Expendables to be. In my opinion. Like the Expendables 2 is what I wanted the first Expendables to be. Because you got everybody had their times to shine. Their times to shine in this fucking movie. You know, and then um and then Arnold Schwarzenegger, they put him in it a little bit more. He was in this one a little bit more than he was in the first film, because the first film he was in it for like what two or three minutes, maybe even four minutes or something like that in the first film. In this film he's in it a little bit more. Or probably a lot more, and um, and then plus they bring in you know um, some other new characters. You know they bring in Chuck Norris in the film in the mix, and they bring in Scott Atkins, which Scott Atkins wasn't well, in it too much, but like you got a good fight scene between him and um, and Jason Statham in like towards the end of the film, and then you got this legendary battle that we haven't seen in a long time between. Um, between Sylvester Stallone and John claude Van Damme. That fight scene was incredible. And that fight scene was brutal as shit. I enjoyed The Expendables 2. A hell of a damn lot. Like like I prefer this one over the original. And normally the nothing tops the original. But in this case. The Expendables 2. Managed to top the original Expendables film. And um, I enjoyed The Expendables 2. A hell of a lot. This one of the films that I do recommend. If you love you know, um, 80s action films, The Expendables 2 is a definitely a throwback to the 80s action films. And um, this film has a lot of fight scenes, a lot of explosions. You got some comedy scenes here and there that'll make you laugh, which is that's a good thing too. And um, and to me, this had action from start to finish. Like, this film has a lot of damn action in it. And it feels, and it looks and feels like a classic action film. I love The Expendables 2. Now, if I had to rate The Expendables 2, 
I will give it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 movie. Because Sylvester Stallone, he shined a lot more than he even did in the original Expendables. Which, he, of course, he shined a lot in the original Expendables. But he shined a lot more in the Expendables 2. You saw him whoop more ass than he did in the first film. In the Expendables 2, it's a 10 out of 10 movie for me. I love the Expendables 2. Like, one of my favorite action films. Um, I have a lot of favorite action films, but the Expendables 2. If, if the Expendables 4 tops that one, that's a damn good sequel. Did the Expendables franchise if it ever tops the second Expendables film? So yeah, uh, even if it tops the third one, because me, I I do enjoy the third one, um, even better than the original. But I'll get to that review when I get to it, you know, um, and I'll explain to y'all why I enjoy the Expendables three. You know, I enjoy it, but it ain't as good as the second one, of course. The second one's my favorite Expendables film. So yeah, that's why I'll give it ten out of ten for the Expendables. Two. So yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, subscribe and share, it, and also hit the bell so you know new videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out. Peace.